in your experience, like what are the biggest faux pas or mistakes that these seven-figure or multi-seven-figure businesses make when it comes to their marketing strategy at that stage of the game? Mate, like first off, knowing what you have done and, and talking to you, like we, we've um, been able to experience a lot of what you've developed as well through through your marketing uh, experience. And the, the two biggest mistakes we see with businesses as they start to grow and they get up to that the seven figure side, or maybe even the three, is is number one uh, a, a big risk aversion. They they're not willing to take a punt on anything anymore. The 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 stakes seem too big, and usually the reason that appears that way is because they often don't have a budget aligned to it. They don't know how much risk they're willing to take. So they don't take any risk at all. Um, which leads to the second thing is that nothing is a guarantee. Whether you hire an agency, you hire somebody internally in the business, or like even if we step away from marketing, when you hire that new person in the business, you're always taking a risk. No matter how good the resume looks, there's no guarantees. And if you don't test the market, if you don't trial different roles or different people within different positions or um, trial an agency or a service provider, there's no way to know what the market is going to respond to or how the business is going to respond to that person. It's the same with your marketing. If you only go out there with one message and you put it out there and it doesn't work, that doesn't mean the entirety of marketing is, is, is a faux pas, is a give up. You know, it's, it's, it's not, it just doesn't work. You have to test the market and allow it time for the market to respond and react to the message that you're putting out there.